And welcome to the Arlington Seventh-day Adventist Church. We are blessed that the Spirit of the Living God has brought us here together today as the body of Christ to worship Him in song and in music. Uh, you no doubt most of you are already figured out that this is a special Sabbath. We have the uh, we have the blessing of having the California Baptist University Choir and Orchestra uh, under the direction of Dr. Guy Holliday. Uh, how many of you were here first service? Raise your hand real quick. Okay. Uh, repeat customers. You will be giving another offering, so you have that opportunity. Uh, how many were here for, uh, for middle service, for YG? Okay. Oh, look at this. So how many of you folks are here for the very first time today? Oh, wow. Look at that. How come you folks can't come three services in a row on a regular Sabbath? <laughs> All right, just curious. Don't want to out you there. Hey, got a question for you. What is tomorrow? Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Very good. Now, I know there's a man who's sitting here right now and just sheer terror has just taken over your imagination. Because you didn't realize that tomorrow is Mother's Day. But, uh, but in honor of our mothers, I, I, we always like to do this. Uh, we always like to do this, okay? I would like to have our ladies stand who are mothers of just children, no grandchildren. So I just want mothers, okay? I want our mothers to stand, okay? Okay, all right. Okay, mothers of just one generation of children, you may be seated. Now I'd like to have our grandmothers stand. Where are our grandmothers at? <laughs> Up here in the balcony. Okay, you ladies may be seated. Now, you're picking up on the theme. Our great-grandmothers, please stand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Make it, making sure I haven't lost track of this. Great, great-grandmothers? What? Why? <laughs> Why over here too? Wow, we got okay. They're very good. That's oh, okay. I mean, I mean, we're great, great, great grandmothers. Okay. Okay. Now I have to establish one thing, ladies. Uh, for my great, great grandmother over here, and my great, great grandmother over here, how many, how many great, great grandchildren do you have? We're saying no. You have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Over one. How old are they, if I may ask? Two. Okay, two. All right. Well, I don't know that we've ever had it. Have we had great great grandmothers before? Well, y'all keep at it, okay? Just just keep going there. Ladies, uh, we, we do want to extend the, the it's just a small token uh, of our appreciation uh, for you ladies as being uh, uh, well being mothers. Okay, what can we say? We wouldn't be here without you. Okay, uh, but it's just a small token. It's just a pen and it's a little uh, uh, a bookmark. It says find help in the Bible. Okay, uh, if you've been a mother, you no doubt have found help in the Bible. You found help in the Lord. Uh, I, I think it's appropriate. It seems like uh, for some reason uh, it says find help in the Bible when you are facing. What's the very first thing they have on the back here? Anger. Anxiety. Crisis, depression, discouragement, fear, grief, illness, loneliness, and temptation. You know what? The reason it has this list of things is because love is already written in your hearts. So, anyway, ladies, thank you so very much. Uh, once again, we are looking very much forward to this program that's presented to us by California Baptist University. Uh, we'd like to begin our service here with a word of prayer. 
Father God, we thank you so very much for uh, this amazing orchestra and choir that has come before you today to bring you glory and honor. We thank you, Lord, for our mothers who are here with us today. Uh, through them, we all have had the experience of seeing your love for humanity in a unique way. It's not that fathers can't demonstrate the love, but mothers, they touch us in a way that is just remarkable. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to come before you in worship. May you be glorified in all. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you realize that five short months ago, we opened the Gail Tucker Youth Annex? And, <laughs> yes. And as I was thinking about what I was going to share this morning, beyond our just normal Sabbath morning children's Sabbath school that if you get a chance to get over there, it's like a beehive of activity. We have our UG talk for our high school, but we've had a number of other events beyond just our weekly. We've had Winter Wonderland. We've had Messy Church. We have Junior High Connect. We had our Full Life Conference just a couple of weeks ago that used the facilities that your generosity and the giving of your resources has helped us to build. But we're not done yet. Not only do we need to continue to support the ministries through our children's ministry, through our youth, youth ministry, through our general church budget to help continue what goes on over there every week, but we also have a loan we need to pay off. And this church has committed to paying this loan off for this building in less than four years. But in order to do that, we need to bring in $30,000 a month to do that. And by God's grace, every month this year except for January, which we've kind of expected, we've met our goal. Praise God. But we still have a lot more to go. If we meet our goal of $30,000 here in the month of May, our note will be less than $900,000. And so thank you for your generosity. Thank you for your continued support of not only the children and youth of this church, but also as we look to pay off this note so we can continue to do ministry in a mighty way here and get out of debt, which is what we want to do. So thank you again for all of your support. And I want to invite our deacons to come forward. We're going to have another offering at the end for this amazing group of young men and young women. Um, to support California Baptist University School of Music. There'll be deacons out at the exits on your way out. Pastor Kevin will remind you of that. But if you're looking to write a check, the bigger the better. I'm sure Dr. Holliday would appreciate that. Uh, make, it, make sure it's made out to California Baptist University. So I'm going to invite you to pray with me, and then I'm going to introduce um, the choir and orchestra. Father, again, thank you for your great blessings of this church and for the ministry that we do. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to be taken to your throne room through music today. And Father, we just pray your blessing upon the tithes, upon the offerings, upon the resources you've given us for your honor and for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now we'll introduce Dr. Guy Holliday in the California Baptist University Choir and Orchestra. <laughs>
pure and clear. Make music for thy Lord to hear. Oh, praise him. Alleluia. Let all things their creator bless and worship him in Well, thanks for coming back. Uh, some of you have been here all morning, huh? That's fantastic. Well, you heard that one earlier then. Well, I tell you, we've been uh, on a bus for three days, and we're so glad to be in Texas right now, I'll tell you that. So thank you for letting us come and being part of your worship service this morning. You know, that's really uh, what this time ought to be about. Not just a choir singing at you all. See how I tied in the Texas thing there? Um, but really it ought to be a worship experience for all of us today. So just if you feel drawn in, I hope that will happen. Uh, you just sing along, you can go right ahead. You want to close your eyes, you want to lift your hands, you want to stand to your feet, jump up and down, hop a pew, whatever. Let's just worship and praise the Lord. Jesus is alive. <laughs>
that was pretty good. You know, since so many people were here from the beginning, I'm feeling the pressure not to repeat any songs. <laughs> and it's a good thing that we know a lot of songs. Well, so let's do, where are, I am going to repeat one. This is called Greater Than Great. Uh, it's by Tommy Walker. Have you all heard of Tommy? Great worship leader. He actually has been leading worship, not just writing songs, which he's done a lot of, but he's been leading worship in the same place for 30 years in Southern California. Great guy, great spirit. And he's on our worship and arts board. We created this new degree at California Baptist University in worship arts and ministry. And uh, so if you're a young man or a young woman who wants to lead worship as a career path, we have got the degree for you. And it was developed by Tommy Walker and uh, a bunch of other folks. So it's a great, great thing that we started this last fall. We're very excited about it. And so this song that we're going to do is about, about God. He's greater than great.
Well, this is a song that we're going to do. It's actually the, the title song of our new album. It's called Your Words, Your Songs. It's really about allowing everything that we're doing, whether we're saying or acting or even thinking, that it may all be glorifying to God. So we're going to sing this song, and it ends beautifully. Uh, we hope that you'll take a look at those wonderful CDs out there, but don't buy them until sunset. Here we go.
Well, I want to thank uh, Lexi Gunn for singing the solo on that last one there. Beautiful job. And I, uh, I keep neglect, you know, when we open with that song, uh, All Creatures of Our God and King, I usually tend to go right on to the next one and forget to acknowledge the wonderful and talented Rebecca Valenzuela on that first song. Uh, we repeated that one because she said that she has family here today. Where are they? Right there. <laughs> Way up there. Are you uh, pleased with the addition to the family? Yes. So uh, Rebecca is recently married to Tony Valenzuela. who normally would be with us, but he has to work and support a new bride.
I'm grateful for this young man. I'll use the word young. <laughs> this is Trayvon Williams. He's the president of the choir and has been for a while. And uh, just finished his master's degree in music education. Composition. Actually, I'm sorry, it's actually in composition. Yes, my but undergrad was in education. But he's, a, fan he's a fantastic music educator. <laughs> And I tell you what, because at CBU, we are committed to inspire students to the highest standards of musical, musical craft. craft and personal character, this man is exemplary of both. We are preparing, thank you. <laughs> With that approach, we are preparing young men and women, students for success in musical professions. So if you have a, I tell you what, if you have a young man or a young woman that's thinking, I want to go into music, whether it's to perform, to write music, or to educate others in music, or even to lead others in worship, we have a degree for them, and we would love to have them come and be a part of this great ministry uh, at CBU and study music. So uh, come see us at the end of this service. We'll talk a little bit about that, okay? You can grab some information on your way out, too. So this next song... You know, I, I know you have an incredible testimony, but we don't have time for it. <laughs> but um, maybe you could just introduce the song a little bit for us. Would you be willing? Yeah, to? I, w I would love to. Um, this song, it talks about one of the key verses that I love in this song. It says that without God, I mean, without God, there, God with God, there's no boundaries, there's no limits, and. That's just a truth for my life that I found that in my own strength, I find some point where I'm limited. But with God, there are no limits, there are no boundaries. And I don't know what you're going through in your life personally, but there's a word from God to say it's not over until God says it is over. And that's what this song is about.
There is no limit when God is in it. Say it's not over. There is no limit. No, 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 no. no. Say it's not over. There is no limit. No, 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 no. Say it's not over. Nothing is impossible. No, 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 no. Sabbath now, aren't we? Oh, thank you, Trayvon. That was incredible. Wonderful. What a great word for us as Christians. You know, we get a do-over, right? Praise the Lord. We get up in the morning. God, it's a new day. Thank you for forgiveness of sin and for life everlasting. Well, Psalm 111, verse 10 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom.
Well, I tell you what, we could just go and go and go. But, thank you. But there's brisket waiting, so we're gonna shut this down right, right after this song. The brisket is coming. And thank you, by the way, for all of you that took us in last night, hosted these young men and women. I hope that was a positive experience for you and for them, I'm sure it was. But it's just great to be a part of the body of Christ and to come all the way out here, 1,300 or whatever it was, miles, and, and just be with you all. I threw that Texas thing in there again. So grateful. Thank you so much for having us. We want to sing one more. Pastor, you want to come now or later? We're going to do one more, okay? And um, this is another song that's on that CD. It's an important song to us because it makes a statement. And, you know, in this culture, in this life, being a young person who's a, a follower of Jesus Christ, it's not getting too easy. It's getting tougher. Is that right? So what it's going to require is a higher level of commitment. When the going gets tough, we've got to stay the course. When the world laughs at us or puts us down or wants to hurt us, we have to stay the course, stand up, for what's right, what we know is the truth about a living Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. And would you, with us today, would you say, I am resolved to follow the Lord Jesus.
Dr. Holliday, Dr. Holliday, students of California Baptist University, you guys were phenomenal. You were so on fire, you just shut down one of our AC units. They didn't even try to cool anymore because it was so hot up here. But uh, y'all did a wonderful job. We have certainly been blessed. And uh, we want to thank you so very much from the bottom of our hearts for you spending the time to come out here with us this weekend. You've certainly been a blessing. I want to thank all our members who were willing to open up your homes for the evening for these uh, remarkable young people. God is good, and it is great to see him on display and lifted up by all of you here. Uh, just a reminder, you have the opportunity to contribu contribute directly to the ministry of California Baptist University Choir and Orchestra. Uh, as you exit the sanctuary here, uh, the deacons will be there for an additional offering to support this important ministry that advances the kingdom of the Lord through song and through music. Let us pray. Father God, we once again thank you so much for this opportunity that we've had to come together before you this Sabbath day to worship you in spirit and in truth and to be led in worship uh, by these young people under the direction of Dr. Holliday. Lord Jesus, we pray that you would be with them as they travel down to Houston, as they return to this area, and then as they eventually proceed on the way home back to California, that you would bless them, that you would expand their ministry, that they would glorify Christ Jesus. Watch over and keep them safe. We thank you for the salvation you've extended to us and for the promise of your soon return. For this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And thank you.